Hey, Nish, how do you feel about the current state of our home? Honestly, I don't think it's working for us. Having just two bedrooms between a married couple, a YouTube channel, and a child might potentially be a recipe for disaster. But the thing is, I like it here. I have my own gym, pool table, meeting rooms, a rooftop terrace, and storage locker. Plus an incredible community of neighbors and 24 hour security. So I don't wanna move. You see, despite being known as a so-called minimalist, since becoming a parent, that isn't so much the case, as I realized that I much prefer having a messy house with multiple toys scattered all over our living room over hypnotizing our daughter in front of a screen, which is an uncomfortable compromise that I'm willing to make because her development is much more important than my minimalist preferences. So what this means is that we pretty much don't have a living room anymore. And when considering what our options are, we've realized that the next logical step up is a house. But I don't want a house. I want my gym, concierge, 24 hour security, and rooftop, along with everything I could possibly need being a 15 minute walk or train ride away. So our current 628 square foot apartment looks like this two approximately 85 square foot bedrooms, a bathroom, a large general living space and a balcony. But since we also have to fit in our bed, our daughter's crib, my YouTube studio, a living area and a playroom, it makes life a little bit chaotic. So far, just to get by, I actually jerry-rigged our daughter's crib with casters, which allows us to wheel her between the two bedrooms for naps in our bedroom and full sleeps in my studio, which to my surprise has actually worked out quite well. I mean, she's too young to know that I've stolen her bedroom, right? If we were to draw a heat map during the day, most of our time is spent in the living area where we eat, play and relax, and here in my studio where I bury myself in my work. But this means that during the rest of the day, apart from our daughter's nap time, our bedroom is being heavily underutilized. Now, anyone who knows anything about productivity will tell you that you should never sleep and work in the same room. This is a problem because that's exactly what I'm about to start doing. And really, I don't have a choice because my daughter really needs her own room and my wife and I really need our living room back. So because of this, my dream YouTube studio simply has to go. And somehow I have to fit all of that functionality in this room. Wish me luck. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. Cause every time you tell me I'm good and bad, I'm doing fine. But nothing ever changed. Now, this may seem like a bit of a drastic solution, but we've gone and got ourselves a proper daybed. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but check this out. Twin bed. King bed. This thing is massive.
Now, the reason I'm okay with reducing the size of my desk setup is because I can actually do most of my work from a laptop. That is everything except from one crucial task, which is architectural visualization, which is incredibly graphically intensive. So what's a tiny desk setup build without the latest and greatest small form factor PC? To be transparent, ROG hooked me up with this G22 as the sponsors of this video, but I'm truly in love with this PC for a number of reasons. Fully equipped with the latest RTX 4070 GPU, an Intel Core i9 processor, 1TB of SSD storage, and 32GB of DDR5 RAM, it provides blazing fast performance in a package that's shorter than a PS5 at just 10 liters. When placed with the location of our desk across from our bed turned sofa, this makes the G22 a monster of a multimedia machine, which honestly makes me want to swap out my current 32 inch monitor for a full size TV for movie nights. But what really impresses me the most about this PC is its versatility, as it has a premium yet subtle design with such a small form factor that it can fit in and elevate any space. And because it's just so small, I can place it right on my desk, which makes its wide array of ports far more accessible when compared to placing it on the floor or mounting it to the underside of my desk. It's also got full access to all of its moving parts with your choice of removable glass or ventilated panels. So I'm free to upgrade and swap out any parts I want as needed. And on top of all of this, it runs Windows 11 with an amount of power that's capable for super intensive use cases, such as high frame rate gaming and streaming, as well as my graphically demanding architectural and video workloads. And together with our new daybed, it makes this Jekyll and Hyde bedroom an absolute powerhouse for productivity, which you can check out using the link in the description below. Somehow, by simply reducing the size of my desk setup and moving it into our bedroom, we've managed to create a whole new room for our daughter in our tiny apartment. It goes without saying that this room definitely needs some attention, but finally it means that we've managed to get our living room back. And what's so awesome about this new setup is that this room really becomes quite flexible for hosting guests. And this small change alone has made our living area feel like it's doubled in size, as essentially it's now just an extension of the main space. Over in our room, despite several teething problems getting this daybed to work, thankfully everything just about fits with only millimetres to spare. But I'm happy to report that since using it for a few nights, it's completely revolutionized our sleep, which completely took us by surprise, as despite this bed being perceived as a bit of a downgrade, we actually ended up upgrading to a king size bed from a queen size one, with our new 5 inch foam mattresses somehow being even more comfortable than our last pocket sprung one, despite being significantly lighter, cheaper, smaller and more mobile. Simply by folding this bed away every morning and evening and then throwing on a bedspread, it almost makes it feel like a completely different room, where in office mode, this skinnier desk setup somehow still provides me with everything I need, which has made me wonder how much further we'd have to stretch ourselves financially to get this same functionality in a larger home with a more traditional setup. So, how do you think this all turned out? I'm pleasantly surprised. Went from a queen size bed to a king size bed. And do you think that's enough despite all of the YouTube chaos? Yeah, honestly, I feel like it's working for us. I feel like we have another room, really. Well, I suppose in that case, we have enough space for another kid.